Test 2, Part 1. Number 1. A. A customer is buying a gift. B. A woman is being given a reward. C. People are having a ceremony in a church. D. Co-workers are celebrating at a staff dinner. Number 2. A. Men are welcoming a guest. B. A couple is over the moon. C. Some sportsmen are showing fatigue. D. Sports fans are displaying enthusiasm. Number 3. A. A man and a pregnant woman are having a video call. B. A pregnant woman is holding a diaper. C. A man is giving a speech to a large audience. D. A man is being applauded by his wife. Number 4. A. The living room has been cleaned. B. Someone is having a massive party. C. A woman is tired from doing household chores. D. Some furniture is being cleaned. Part 2. Number 5. I heard the news. Blank. I'm still dealing with it, but I'll be okay soon. I'm sure you will. Just forget him. It's his loss. Number 6. Did you hear that Sammy rejected a higher salary from another company? Wow. Blank. Yeah, she's been with us 20 years and still loves being here. Number 7. Congratulations on getting a scholarship at Harvard. Thanks. I didn't think I'd ever go to Harvard, let alone on a scholarship. Blank. You work so hard and you're talented. You deserve it. Number 8. Do you want to celebrate your birthday this weekend? I don't really like making a big deal about my birthday. Blank. You're not someone who likes to show off. Number 9. You must be excited about moving to Europe. I am, but I hope I won't get too lonely and homesick. London is not that different from New York. Blank. Number 10. That company I interviewed for just got back to me. I start Monday. Blank. Thanks so much. I can't believe it. Part 3. Number 11. That summer camp looks really fun. A. I know. It does look and taste absolutely delicious. B. It won't be all fun and games. Some of it will be hard work. C. This calls for a celebration. You're going to have a great time. Number 12. Hey. Aren't you supposed to be going to America this year? What about the virus? A. The virus is a worry. I hope it doesn't prolong my wait to go study there. B. Yes, for about two years. I learned a lot about myself from living abroad. C. I know. I can't believe I got sick right before my final exam. Number 13. If you are given this job, you may have to work irregular hours. A. I couldn't be happier for you. B. Yes, Monday to Friday. C. Don't worry, I'm flexible. Number 14. Wow, you got 95% on your geography project. Well done. A. 
I hope so, but I'll have to study day and night for a few weeks. B. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without you. You were a massive help. C. I'm still a little shocked by the whole thing, but I'm getting better. Number 15. Congratulations. You must be over the moon about getting pregnant. A. Having a baby is a scary but definitely exciting prospect. B. It'll be 30 years this Saturday. We'd love it if you could make it. C. You're right. It's really difficult, but hopefully I will pass the test. Number 16. Is that Gemma? I hardly recognized her. A. I didn't know you were coming. B. Oh yeah, she's changed her hairstyle. C. Right, she hasn't changed at all. Part 4. Questions 17 to 19 refer to the following conversation. You are up and about early this morning, Stephanie. I get up early every day now, but you're usually still in bed. Mom and I are really proud to see you accomplishing great things in your work. Thanks. It wasn't easy running my own company in the beginning. I had to call on all my strength to keep going. That's my girl. And to reward you for never giving up, here's a fresh cup of coffee. Thanks. Number 17. Who most likely are the speakers? Number 18. How does the man feel about the woman? Number 19. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 20 to 22 refer to the following conversation. Congratulations on getting first place in the competition. How do you feel? Thank you. I worked so hard to prepare that I think I'm suffering from fatigue now, but I'm happy. Understandable. Okay, so check this out. As a reward for your achievement, I've booked a short vacation for us. Oh, great. Where is it? It's at a hot spring hotel in the mountains. You're going to love it. Nice one. I could really do with that. Number 20. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 21. What does the woman say about the competition? Number 22. Why does the woman say, I could really do with that? Part 5. Questions 23 to 25 refer to the following speech. Welcome to this year's graduation ceremony. First of all, I'd like to congratulate everyone on getting to this point. Graduation marks the end of adolescence and the beginning of adulthood. Some of you have gone through a lot to get here, whether it be staying up late revising for exams, or even something like a parent losing a job. But in spite of whatever challenges you faced, you made it. Some of you will go on to college, others the workplace. Either way, now's the time to look forward with enthusiasm and hope. I want you to call on everything you have learned in order to fulfill your dreams, and hopefully to make the world a better place too. I trust you will carry forward the values we hold dear, those being honesty, hard work, and consideration for others. Remember, your future hasn't happened yet. You shape it. Number 23. Who is being addressed? Number 24. What does the speaker imply about the listeners?
Number 25. What does the speaker say he wants people to do next?